Hello traders, welcome to Flow with the Markets Tuesday. You know what we're gonna be doing right now, just straight jumping into the markets and see how Monday opened because usually Monday contains clues about what could be happening on Tuesday and Tuesday contains clues about what could be happening for the rest of the week. So we're gonna just jump straight into the charts, have a look what is happening right now and of course how we can flow with the markets because as I usually say, we do the forecast on Saturday, Sunday, but then Monday opens, it does something completely different. And then, of course, on the next day, you have to adapt. So let's do it. All right. So before we get into the charge, just a very quick glance at the fundamentals. Now, yesterday we had Bank of England's uh, speech or some sort of report, I believe. Uh, this morning we had RBA meeting minutes and a speech from the governor. Now today we have Canadian news. So for the Canadian traders, make sure to watch out for the US dollar traders. Uh, CAT is not impacting that much the DXY, but of course it does it indirectly. But I pretty much think the highlight of today and I think the highlight for this week is uh, the FOMC minutes we're having tonight. So uh, this is what the market is awaiting right now to kind of be released to see what they're going to say. And then potentially starting from tomorrow, that is where we're going to start getting clear moves. Now, yesterday it did provide a clear move. But if you actually have a look at it, it happened during New York. London was completely dead. So then New York came in, it gave a move. And then today New York is also completely dead, which is what makes me think that again, the market is waiting for something. It's building something. And then, of course, it's potentially going to make a move now. DXY on the daily time frame. What I expected to happen after this bearish engulfing candle on Friday is, of course, to have a pullback and a continuation, which uh, towards the 50%, which is uh, pretty much what happens. Uh, but you can see again, we opened the day, we made a wick up, we expanded lower, and right now on this day, we are starting to expand lower a little bit more. Now, what this is going to create right now is a very nice daily range. So, daily high to daily low. Uh, that is also forming a brand new imbalance right there. But again, we have to be waiting for the daily candle to close. And then potentially what I would expect is for a bearish continuation. Now that depends on whether the liquidity target is achieved first. Now, the textbook scenario for the rest of the week for me will be uh, for this daily candle to close something like this. But again, keeping in mind we have FOMC, I do think this liquidity could be taken. Uh, so if it closes like this, pull back into imbalance the next day and rushing into the liquidity target. If it takes the liquidity target, then, of course, we're going to be looking for potential counter trend longs to get, it, to get us into the imbalance and then evaluate whether the market is going to hold from here or continue going lower. So that is my daily expectation on the DXY. We're pulling back below the 50% on the weekly leg. We're taking some daily liquidity. Uh, well, sorry, we're not yet taking the daily liquidity. But if we do take it, then, of course, we can start expecting some sort of a pullback. And of course, you can see on the 40 time frame, the market is just sliding down right now. There is nothing really valid, according to me, on the 4 H. We're still trading between this high and this low, which is pretty much the daily high and low, right? Right now, it's staying exactly at the bottom. It is just consolidating after a move during Asia. And London is pretty much doing nothing. You can see yesterday, like trending Asian range, whole big chop during London. And yeah, pretty much we had this drop initiated uh, during New York Stock Exchange. And today it's also absolute nonsense right now. So again, we've got to wait and see. But again, just in terms of the hard time frames, this is what I'm looking for right now. So today to close, tomorrow to pull back and to drop. Or if today takes the liquidity right there, then of course, Wednesday and Thursday, we can look for a pullback. And then maybe Friday, we're going to see what is going to happen. So that is the DXY and immediately jumping to EU. Now, the difference between DXY and EU is that EU is uh, just taking the liquidity point, which it actually did yesterday. So what I was expecting is, of course, to have um, some sort of a pullback in order to catch a high probability long. But no, the week opened and it just started pushing higher. And again, I was expecting a pullback. Well, I didn't get a pullback. So again, no trade. I did take a counter trend trade because, again, I was still looking for that pullback. So I'm going to show you the trade I took. Uh, but yeah, right now we actually attacked that liquidity target. We wicked it. And right now we keep kind of pushing above. But similar to what I told you on the DXY, it is currently expanding. It's creating a new daily higher low to daily higher high. And it's most likely about to be forming that sort of imbalance. So if today closes like this, then again, as I told you tomorrow, we look for that pullback and potentially to keep expanding higher based on that sentiment we're having right now. Now, again, similar to uh, the DXY, we don't have anything nice on the four hourly, four hourly low to four hourly high. And uh, yeah, it's 
kind of just keep sliding into the highs. But you can see since the open right there, do you really see momentum? Because I don't. This is momentum. This is momentum, right? This is not momentum. So it's driving the market somewhere in order to make some sort of a move. And according to me, if the weekly candle opened there and it started bullish, it is very likely going to, to turn downwards. Uh, but I would expect uh, a bullish week overall. But again, let's see how it's going to play out. Again, in terms of that daily uh, imbalance, I do think today is going to close something like that. Tomorrow, pullback and then potentially on the next day, we can continue pushing higher to be forming those weekly highs. Now, if I jump on the 50 minute time frame, the short trade I took yesterday was from here. And I stayed in this trade for quite a couple of hours since that wick all the way to this. So yeah, four hours in that trade and it resulted in a break even. So that was again, just taking out the Asian high, getting a five minute rejection, retest, went lower, pull back, went lower. But then again, uh, I really wanted to see that 15 minute trend change. So I was looking for that to break in order to actually add another position or even to hold my trade with confidence. Came in, reacted, but then here it came down and it took out like what was not really London high, but this is where we were kind of accumulating. It took this one and then as I saw it on the five minutes starting to impose, quickly went break even and I got stopped at the break even here. And yeah, then it ended up actually continuing going higher. So at that time I was like, okay, well, the market does want to continue bullish. So where is it going? Well, first of all, it went to take the liquidity target. But then after the liquidity target, it did not reverse. So it's most likely seeking something more. Now this morning, uh, no trade on EU because it's still within the Asian range. So you cannot do anything. Right now it's actually retesting a, um, a 30 minute zone, which should be somewhere right here. I think some of my guys were looking for a long trade from here. But according to me, when the market hasn't taken any side of the Asian range, I usually don't look for a trade. So Again, guys, no clear trades. I'm personally going to be waiting for the FOMC tonight. And depending on what they say, tomorrow is going to be a brand new day. And I am looking for longs. I'm looking for longs on you. We're still in this very big folly range. So what I would expect to happen is for some sort of a sharp pullback. And then potentially as we start getting intraday setups on the 50 minute to the upside, that is what I'm going to be looking for. So again, it's going to be a patience game to wait for the setup to, to come to us. Um, Euro JPY had a short bias to give us that pullback and uh, yeah, it actually opened and uh, just tested the supply and then it's been flushing since then. First imbalance met, reacted, second imbalance met, it's reacting. So this one actually played out very nicely based on this scenario, but let's of course delete everything. So basing it on the daily. Now the daily you can see it's very momentous to the downside. Uh, imbalance is failing. Now this is the next imbalance within this daily leg. So let's see how it's going to respond from this one, which is also below the 50%. So I like my imbalances to be either around or below the 50%. So right now we're tapping there. But as you can see, the forward time frame is right now absolutely bearish. There's a forward break structure. There is another forward break structure forming with wicks, but then it forming with a body. So I do like Euro Yen for a potential long trade, but it's not ready yet, right? So currently this is our hourly lower high supply so if you want to get for a high probability trade you gotta wait for a quality trend change and then of course to start um looking for buys if you want to get an earlier trend change than the voyage you can of course use the hourly so just focus on the hourly structure then of course wait for that to pop up retest and then continue going higher uh the 15 minute i usually drop when i have hard time from confluences or if i'm looking for an intraday setup like for example today tapped into imbalance, took out the Asian low, right now aligned bullish. So that is a trading setup potentially that I would um, that I would observe. However, uh, this is Euro Yen. I don't trade Euro Yen and also the, the timing is a little bit off. Right now you can see that the manipulation should be happening around. Yeah, well, this one happened pretty nicely. There is London open, manipulated lower, expanded higher. So right now this could be a potential long entry for you. Uh, you could potentially just go for a 1 to 2.2 towards that 4 hourly supply because if this holds, then of course it's going to continue going lower. So that is my view on EJ, but going long on this one is definitely premature because um, like hourly is bearish, 4 hourly is bearish, um, and yeah, you don't really have a middle time frame shift. Like usually I like to see the 4 hourly time frame shift, but when the lower high is far away, you can look for something like maybe a, an hourly or a 30 minute and everything so far is bearish, so be careful. But that is OZJ, uh, sorry, Euro JPY. Looking for overall longs, but we gotta get that confluence by having a trend change on a hard time frame. 
which to me a great confirmation will be the foh so that is how it looks like right now aussie dollar just opened and it just pumped higher attacking our daily high uh, so again i was expecting for market to pull back to fill in balance but it already did so it already pushed, it already filled imbalance right there, it already aligned on the foliage. So this is something that I would like to see on EJ, just the pair recovered. And right now it's continuing to push higher. So again, guys, brand new day, the market opens, make something that, that didn't happen based on what you expect. You gotta delete everything. So right now we're having a brand new daily break. We're gonna be having a brand new daily uh, demand zone. And also on the daily, what I really like to see is like this imbalance being formed right now. That suggests a lot of momentum entering into the market. So again, as we close like that, of course, our next liquidity target will be here. So that's our next liquidity target on the daily. Uh, but now as we just broke for our structure again tomorrow or maybe on Thursday, I would expect some sort of a pullback right there and then potentially to target the liquidity target. Sometimes the market just impulses straight into the liquidity target and then it starts a pullback. So that could be the second scenario. Uh, but again, like Monday, Tuesday, can we have even Wednesday and Thursday and Friday bullish? Absolutely possible. Just the weekly candle to create another big bullish week. Absolutely. So bias is bullish on Aussie dollar. Now, in terms of the 4H, I mean, you could potentially take something like that as a demand zone. According to me, it's not valid based on my rules. So I would still stick within this low to this high, similar to EU, we're having very big ranges. And yeah, so this is pretty much, I'm going to wait for tomorrow, today to close, look for a pullback tomorrow when a short uh, and a short manipulation below the Asian low, and then potentially look to be taking a long trade. Now, similar to EU, this one didn't do much, just an Asian range, didn't even exit it. I do not trade inside the Asian range. I want for it to be taken, like for example here. Yeah, here it actually didn't take. it. So again, if you wanted to take short trade invalid, here it took it, but it just continued to go up. So yeah, no setups today. Let's wait for today to close. Tomorrow, Asian range, manipulation, alignment, and then potentially longs. That is what I would love to see on AU. Let's have a look at AHA. Should be bearish as well. Uh, okay, so this one actually took out the fairly high. And right now it's taking out the fairly low. Uh, yeah, this happens. This is kind of a liquidity grab mechanism where it actually makes a trend change. You can see it was actually with a body. But then again, as I told you on my video on body and wig breaks, if a break is, is followed by an evening star formation like that, high chance for it to actually uh, reverse. And you can see immediately the strength, the imbalance being formed. There it is, the market retesting it, continuing lower and actually creating the valid uh, break structure, which was also created with another imbalance that suggests that there is a strength uh, entering the market. There is our full hourly supply zone. And of course, my next outcome will look something like that now we got to check out the daily the daily is still bullish daily low daily high that imbalance on the daily you can see it came in it came in it came in so three days it fails to respond and now the four day looks like it's gonna break it so most likely this imbalance is not gonna hold so let's observe it but most likely not which means that the euro uh the aussie yen is shifting bearish right now lower low pullback continuation this is essentially what i'm going to be looking for I just don't like this positioning for a short trade because it looks like a push pullback for it to continue going higher. So again, if you want to actually wait for an alignment, you've got to wait for this high to be broken. Now, on the 15 minute time frame, again, you can see we dip below Asia. Um, so on the 15 minute, you don't have an alignment here. That is your 15 minute lower high. So 15 minute high, 15 minute low, pullback, reacted, pullback, reacted, pullback. It's building this triangle right there so guys not good um i mean no jpys are still kind of preparing for something so there is no trade right now and honestly if i'm to give you my expectation it would be this like to give me a pop-up inside this, the 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 imbalance the fairly lower high supply and then potentially to drop lower so that is what i would expect on aj trying to keep it nice and simple and you uh, this one just opened once again oh yeah monday open push little pullback just expand it, taking the daily high and uh, taking the liquidity target to the left. So if I delete everything, there is a liquidity target that is right now taken. And looking to the left, like let me just jump on the daily. The next one, of course, is gonna be either this week or that week. So you could, I could take both like that. So this is where the market is potentially going next after taking this high. Now, after this high, we would expect the pullback. Where to? Well, imbalance. 
after the market takes out the high, it comes back to pull back to the 50% and to fuel imbalance, right? It goes from liquidity to imbalance, then vice versa. This is the very nice uh, new daily range. Quality time frame is very bullish. This is our quality time frame higher low, which also aligns with this imbalance. So again, long term, what I'm going to be looking for is for a pullback and a continuation on NZUSD. Now that means that we could start looking for shorts right now as a pullback trade, and you actually got it. Asian high manipulation, 50 minute time frame alignment, and then of course you you could be looking right now to take a short from somewhere right there, right? You can already be in if you wish. You can, of course, wait for the market to test to get a better stop loss and then target this low right there. So that is a trade idea. Although I really don't like to be uh, trading like this, which is a counter trend trade. Usually I get break evens or losses, like similar to the trade I took on EU uh, this week. It is a counter trend trade, so usually it doesn't work out. But that is currently how I see NZUSD, long term longs. But of course, first we got a pullback and then potentially we can start heading for those liquidity targets. NZJPY, I am not going to break it down because I have three outcomes and nothing happened. Yeah, so the fourth outcome happened, which is a chop. There it is. So again, guys, I always think in terms of outcomes. So I'm never going to give you this is going to happen. This is what will happen. It's, it's all scenarios to adapt to. Right now, this one has done nothing. So analysis still remains, right? Daily time frame tapping inside the demand zone, but it's filling in completely this um, imbalance right there. It's rejecting from the daily demand. Uh, it has very nice liquidity to be taken below right there to come in, to come back and retest the weekly imbalance. So I do see definitely downside on this, uh, but it doesn't give me any sort of setup. So you can see yesterday it stayed within the Asian range and today it stays within the Asian range. So guys, this one is a skip. This one is a skip, but I'm going to make a bet that it's probably going to do something like this. So let's see, but not trading this one. USDJPY, okay, nice. Opened on Monday, filled, tapped the 50% on the most recent forward range, and then it just dumped. And I think you, we probably couldn't have gotten an entry on this one. Yeah, because it filled in during Asia, and then it just started rolling. So that is a good trending market right now. And yeah, well, that is a lot of bearishness. Okay, okay, okay. So... We're getting some direction right there and the daily time frame right now has officially shifted on monday daily breakdown and uh, how did it shift well of course we have like one imbalance right there and today we're gonna have another one so why I started looking at imbalances uh because like it is something that works pretty good and also suggests that you're having strength in the market so like, again, I've heard a lot of guys say, like, I I'm always look for big moves with imbalances. And I do agree because pretty much an imbalance is a simple way to say that there is momentum going on. Because if you don't have an imbalance within the leg, then it's, it's usually weak, right? You can see here, this market broke down on the daily in terms of structure, uh, but it didn't happen impulsively and didn't have imbalance and then ended up breaking up. This breakup happened with a lot of strength, right? So then, of course, you can see the market coming back to the imbalance, to the daily uh, demand. And then it pushed up. So right now, massively going lower, starting to already collect some of the liquidity points to the left. There is a first one. So I would expect a pullback. I would expect a pullback. Now, where to? Well, you first of all have this uh, lower high supply. You're going to have this as a supply zone. So both of them are resting within daily imbalance areas. Uh, but right now, especially right now, it's going to be tricky because we are at the lower low, taking massive liquidity, also taking out the Asian low. So, I mean, if you feel like the risk, take a long trade from there, right? That is a counter trend trade. And then, of course, you can start targeting those imbalanced areas right there. So there is your one to two. I really do like this trade. That's something that I would actually take live. Uh, but again, I don't trade UJ. Maybe I have to start. To, who knows? Let's see if this one actually wins. Now, that is UJ right now taking a lot of liquidity, aligning bearish on the daily, expecting a potential pullback, but it's much better, guys, to actually wait for that pullback to happen, wait for an alignment, and then go down rather than trying to catch the bottom, because every time you try to catch the bottom, the market ends up pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, and then by the time it starts pulling back, then it's actually going to clearly show you that it's pulling back. So in this case, what I would wait for is like for maybe one more 15-minute break, like something like that, and then like a nice trending market like this to actually give me like a couple of long setups that is premature but of course let's see um usd cat i'm not looking at that anymore 
GU, GU tricky, 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 tricky. I just took a half loss on GU, trying to short it once again before it reaches the liquidity target. So slightly bit FOMO on my side, but again, low risk because I was aware that uh, it's not going to work out. But you got to strike on the setups. Now, this one filled the imbalance on Thursday and Friday. And then this just this week was just destined to, to push up, to open and to push up. Right now on the daily, we're having a brand new structure break. And again, if we actually want to see strength behind the move, we want to see that imbalance form. So today is most likely going to form that imbalance after taking liquidity. So I would expect tomorrow to push us down here and then potentially Thursday and Friday to start pushing the market higher. So that is my overall daily bias. Now dropping onto the hourly time frame, uh, even though we pushed up, we didn't really form any hourly valid range. So the valid range is from this low to this high. Still, there is the imbalance. There is a 50%. Looking for the market to come somewhere within the right there within the today or maybe tomorrow and then to potentially start looking for longs. Now, the trade I took was slightly FOMO, but what I spotted yesterday is that again, you can see London open, nothing, 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 nothing. And then the manipulation happened very late, like two hours into London open. Today, why did I take this trade? I had, had to wait for, again, half risk, very low risk, actually. So took out the high right there on the Asia. And then of course I was looking for a five minute TC, uh, but I was also seeing the 50 minute form at that time. And I simply took a trade like that, stop loss above and got a half stop loss on this one. And right now the market actually went where? Towards that daily liquidity, it took out that liquidity. And right now I would actually suspect that it has a higher chance of pulling back. So if during New York, we have some sort of a very nice 15 minute trend change, which in this case is gonna be here, uh, or maybe it kind of consolidates right now, then New York takes out London high and that aligns bearish, then of course I can be looking for a short trade because I have a clear bias and usually when the market takes liquidity like this, it tends to pull back. But first guys, don't be premature and wait for that shit. And again, this is why I tell you like on UJ, on EJ, don't try to catch the top because if you do, do it with half risk like I do personally, uh, but it's much worth it just to wait for it to happen and then of course strike as we have more data. So that is GU, overall long bias. I'd expect a potential pullback today or tomorrow and then potential longs. GJ, um, let's see, that one actually took out that uh, daily low right there, yeah. So I was like either expecting longs or for it to take out the low and then, um, okay, so this one, so took out that low as liquidity and it rejected. And yeah, right now, guys, again, simply, I would wait for a hourly break of structure here and then potentially a continuation. That is what I would look for. And I would like to see it happen very impulsively, very nicely. Like if I drop to the weekly time frame, uh, you can see right now the market is getting to that weekly imbalanced area because the daily failed. So that means that the weekly could potentially prevail. But again, in order to have that weekly uh, imbalance hold, I would like to see once again, a very nice pop up to the upside. So a very nice pop up to the upside, retest, and then of course, everything above is going to be your target. Target one right there, target two right there, target three right there, four and five, right? But first, wait for that alignment. Right now, a very nice liquidity is collected below these lows right here. Tapping inside that weekly imbalance, and you can see the hourly time frame is already starting to shift. And also the 50 minute time frame. Took out the Asian low, whoop, impulse. So again, this is a little bit premature, right? They're similar to what I told you on, on the rest of the pair. So again, wait for the market to tap, wait for it to hold, wait for another one, right? And then probably you can enter on the second or something like this. And then if the time timeframe aligns, then you could potentially start getting some good long setups. So that is GJ. Let's see. Uh, Euro GBP, Ooh, this one is dropping nicely. So gold, uh, so gold guys is, Tricky for me right now. I mean, daily break, daily break down, weekly bullish. So weekly is bullish right now, pulls back, it tries to push, so it's gonna take out the weekly high. Daily is bearish, so it's gonna take out the daily high. Fourly time frame is shifting bearish from the daily supply. But again, as I told you, we can either respect it or break up. And you can see on Monday we actually respected it. But right now on Tuesday, we're racking up. So <laughs> why? I don't know, but right now we're having a wick break. This is currently our fall range. It formed with very nice imbalance as well. Like that again suggests that there is strength 
entering the market. And uh, yeah, so this is how I look at it. Again, guys, don't listen to me on gold. I'm definitely not trading gold, but this is something that I would expect right now. Either something like this, or maybe it's actually could go from here, uh, but it's not into this count, so I would be careful. And again, you can see, yeah, it's still within Asia. Just took out the Asian higher, not really, it looks like equal. So hesitating and doubting on this one, and when you are a little bit doubtful, then again, just don't take the trade. So right now, looking for something like this, let's see what happens. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. Indices. Um... And this is carry on to the upside as expecting breaking and smashing that liquidity target. So US 30 smashed the target. Unfortunately, no long entry was provided. And again, right now, I would start expecting potential pullback. So where to? I don't know. Potentially like the hourly higher low formations because you can see that on the hourly, that is our higher low. That is our PD range. And that is our imbalance. So the market is currently filling that up. 50% uh, is something that I would like to see and then potentially again continue to pushing higher so that is my alignment and bias on US 30 now these ones again during Asia they don't do much then today we open and it just rolled down potentially coming to fill this imbalance you can see here we have a lot on the 15 minute so I would expect to come towards the 50% today and maybe tomorrow we go for a long now Nasdaq looks much better like Nasdaq you can see took out the liquidity it already rejected and it went from liquidity to fill in just very briefly that little imbalance right there. And right now, once again, it imposed very nicely yesterday. And right now it's about to form another imbalance to suggest that this push is strong and that the daily order flow is bullish. Now today, I'm not sure how today is going to close, but I'm interested to be trading tomorrow and the days after, after FOMC. Hopefully today is going to push us down to that imbalance, 50%. Alignment tomorrow with a with a nice intraday session uh, with a nice intraday setup. So like a session liquidity grab and then potentially to go up. So that is my outlook on Nasdaq. I'm not going to be touching it today, most likely, because I'm not not really seeing what it could potentially do. Uh, but again, just being very picky with the setups, I would wait for something like this. Exactly the same with uh, SPX. Taking out liquidity, taking out another one right now making like a nice pop-up that is potentially again we have to wait for the daily candle to close to form that imbalance uh, but we do have a valid daily structure break we have a very nice fall valid range similar to what we have on um, on nasdaq of course there we can take a very nice big uh, demand zone and again looking for that 50 percent and looking for that imbalance right there is potentially what i would like to see lower time from alignment from here and then potential longs so pretty much that is how the market looks like right now. Uh, yesterday was nice during New York. It imposed. It's kind of giving us signs of what it could potentially happen. Right now, the market is kind of preparing for something. I would wait for um, uh, for the FOMC. Like you can see, EU is just driving somewhere. Not very momentous, not really volatile. But I'm just going to be looking for today to close that daily candle and then potentially to long tomorrow from like from an area somewhere down there. So that is what I would expect. The JPYs are aligning bullish right now. They are all offering a potential long trade. Aussie dollar, similar to EU, JPYs. Um, I think on the JP, yeah, NZUSD, you can see it's offering a short trade right now. Um, there is UJ, setup that we shouted. Let's see if it actually plays out. Uh, there was another setup on GJ as well that could potentially work out. This one is actually pretty good because it's tapping inside the weekly imbalance and it took a lot of liquidity down there. So I do think this one could potentially go very nice to the upside. And yes, we got to wait a little bit, um, wait for today, FOMC, and then tomorrow, depending on what happens today and how today closes, tomorrow is going to be pretty clear. So again, guys, focus, have expectations of what could happen, but of course, just keep flowing with the markets and don't marry any of your setups. Now, I hope your week is going good. Let me know how it is. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what is your favorite pair looking for this week, and I'm going to talk to you pretty soon.